All right, guys, how's it going? Time to tackle my power stroke, my diesel. Um, it has uh, high pressure oil line fittings are leaking that shoots oil into the cylinder heads that fire the injectors. Um, these, these injectors fire hydraulically um, through a, uh, it's, it's an electric injector that has uh, between 500 and 3,000 pounds of uh, pressure. And um, so it's really high pressure stuff. Um, what we gotta do is most likely, it looks like I'll probably be taking out, part, taking this off. I'm not too sure for sure if we're taking this off. We may be taking this loose more. And we've got the, the fittings are directly down here. So we're gonna have to uh, clear this all out, make some room, get some better light in there. All right. I've got most of the electrical disconnected that need to come uh, that uh, that gets in your way, which would be the wiring harness that come down through here, wiring harness that come to that, wiring harness that come to this IC switch. This is that re uh, reads the pressure in the cylinder head. All right, now here's what's going to happen: is I'm going to try to aim the camera in here. Can you see that right there is a 18 millimeter head bolt i believe not bolt we're gonna have to pull that out and this is gonna drain out the oil that's inside this high pressure pump now my failing parts are uh, is this connector here and there's another one you can't see it i gotta get the light on it but before we pull this plug out okay this is what i was getting at i have a rag here all right, as you can see, there's other rags that are down in here. I'm gonna stuff one more rag in here, and the reason is you're gonna pull that plug out and all that oil is gonna come out. So you wanna find some way to catch that oil so it does not run on the ground. And do not forget to count how many rags you put in here and to pull them all back out. All right, I just sprayed this down and I'm going to try to show you, if you can see it, I hope. Let me get this set up. All right. Hang that down. Right down. Follow my little screwdriver here. And right down, right here, you can see an O-ring sticking out. And that is the fitting that's leaking. We've got this fitting here as a back one. And then there's another fitting I was pointing to here. There's two of them. So we're going to take both these out. But these are high pressure oil lines that go to each cylinder head. So I've got, I just sprayed it down real quick so I can see it. Now my next thing to do is remove these lines. One, two, get them out of the way. Get this one in this one out of the way. And then we'll get down and we'll take out this oil plug. Oil plug's pretty hard to get out with all this stuff in your way. So let's get these lines loose. And I'll show you a special tool it takes to take these lines off. All right, it's been a couple of days. Because I could not find my tool to remove the high pressure pump oil line. So I had to order this one in. I had it not long ago. I seen it. You know how that goes when you need it, you can't find it. Anyway, this is the tool. This will be the end I use. This is for another oil pressure uh, line setup. I believe it's for the 6.4, maybe. I'm not too sure. But this is the one we'll be using right here. And basically, we'll slide that down in between the oil line fitting and the oil line. I'll show you how it slides right on, on over the line, and it pushes up a clip, and then you pull your line off. But when I get to that point, I'll show you how exactly this works. All right, guys, I tried to get the camera set up where you can get a good picture of how this tool works, and I couldn't do it down there. So, I'm going to show you right here. What happens is this line is connected down in those connectors. This tool actually slides in here like that. And then what you're going to do is keep wiggling it and you kind of rock it back and forth. And then you pull the line and the line comes off. It releases the line. It releases the line from, I can show you these now that it's all lit up down there better. Upside down, you can see the two holes one two down there at the bottom all right now we need to take loose that back bolt i'll show you that here in a second to drain the oil pump out so we can get all the oil out of this high pressure pump all right i'm gonna point this at it 
right here. I've got it almost all the way out. And uh, so we're gonna keep on going. I'll get this removed and I'll show you two when things out. What we're gonna do is drain this pump of oil so I can take these fittings out and make sure these fittings are nice and dry and clean before we add our, it's a special thread sealer and re-o-ring our fittings. All right, guys, I got the quick disconnects out and I'm gonna show you what happened, what I've got. Um, I got sad news for my wallet. Show you what it is. Okay. Um, here's the the first one I took out. Here's a little springs of stuff that go in the back. I'll show you what those are about after. Um, they actually set in here. You just don't want to lose them. I keep a magnet on that. See, I'll put a magnet on that. But if you look right here. I took this off. This was loose. This was not tight. And this is what happens. They, the Loctite that they use is junk, and it makes these loose. They, they, they sit there and shake, and you can see how this seal blew out. Here's a seal. But when it shakes, it destroys the threads. So, I look inside here. Let me get this set. I don't even know if you're going to get a good look. I tried cleaning it, everything all out. Um, it's hard to see it. Let me get a the camera upside down and in there um, you might be able to see it better looking down this way uh, there's my pointer All right. you can see the threads uh, you're not seeing it how come I can't there he is you can see threads are missing or or, or stripping out this piece was loose this one was not this one was fine but this is the one that was leaking really bad and it stripped out or um you know the threads are gone you've got to have the threads because there's over two thousand almost i think there's almost four thousand pounds of pressure to come come out of this pump if demanded and it'll blow that line right off so i gotta replace the high pressure pump which is this piece right here underneath so that means the front part of the engine comes off a little cover down here some of this stuff has got to come out and we take the high pressure pump out from back in there wherever that light is now see if you can get a better look let me get my pointer again this is the pump right here this whole piece so that has to come out there's going to be a bolt in between here and here and then on the other side, exact. And then the front, we have to take apart also. But here's the deal. I called the Ford dealer, and they are about nine, probably about nine and a half Ford. Um, so I call the AC Delco um, uh, diesel here locally. And um, he has one. And uh, they're rebuilt. Um, yeah, they're a big buck. You were looking at about 600 bucks for this oil pump, high pressure oil pump, all because of that fitting was loose and it just it walls out. It takes those threads, rips them out. And you cannot, as you can see, there's only like what four threads on this piece. Look, there's still thread right there. Yep. There's one, two, three, four, five threads. That's it. You see a thread still in there. It just it just destroys them I was not expecting this at all so the diesel is down a longer and now I gotta work on today getting this pump off I gotta re bring the core into them okay we can start on the front and what we're gonna have to do is uh, push this down here further this mounts on this front cover which we have to take off for a reason all right we'll have to disconnect this electrical cord from this this was way down in here way down down in that area okay have to disconnect this connector give you some room all right the bottom of this screwed onto the bottom the top of this your pipe all right you'll have to undo that that there is a 5 8 size 
um, nut. You'll have to unscrew that. You're gonna have to take out, let me uh, put these in my hand. There's two of these. These are eight millimeter heads and I'll show you where they go. They actually go, one is right here. All right, the other one is over here. And when you take those two out, this is what comes out. Now that is glued, you gotta pry that off, okay? So this comes out of the way. The reason why you gotta get to this is there is a big nut, a big bolt, I'm sorry, that goes inside here. All right, I've already got it out. I'll show it to you. It's this right here, okay? That slides in that hole down there, and that screws into the high-pressure pump that's on the back side. Now, do yourself a favor. Have a magnet on this. You do not want this washer to come off of this and then it falls down into the motor. Have a magnet on there as soon as you pull it out so you have something holding this, okay? Next thing we gotta do is, I've already done some of it. Have to make more room for what's going on back here. I removed this, that was up here. I've disconnected all these extra little wires here and there laying around. That pressure switch back there, I've disconnected that. So only thing I've gotta do now is, like I said earlier, there's two bolts. One will be between these two places down in there and the other one is back here and which I can't even show it to you until I get the, this off or the new one, new one I pick up tomorrow. So I need to get these two bolts out and then this whole piece back here will fall down and then we'll swing it right on up through here. So let me get those two out. They are 10 millimeter head bolts. This big one has an 18 millimeter size for the head. All right, let me get it apart. All right, there's my new high pressure oil pump. Get that picked up. That's where your lines tap into here. Your fittings. Oh, get off. Now I'll show you when I get that off there. Anyway, there's the caps on here. There's two. Got to make make sure you take that cap off. That's your supply to, to, for your oil to go to your pump, which fires the injectors. There's your new oil pump gasket. And that will sit something like that with that with that plastic cap off all right we need to clean up around the engine bay area all right i got the gasket back on i got one bolt sticking through the other one is fell back but i put thick grease wheel bearing grease always on the back side of not the rubber part but just the metal part of the gasket that'll hope help hold it stuck to there while we're trying to feed this pump in let me show you where the pump's going to go gonna bring you upside down and there you can see the hole all right let me show you the the pump <clears throat> here it is we've got it installed the two 10 millimeter head bolts are torqued at 18 foot pounds I got one fuel line on right here gonna take that cap off and we'll put this other line on right here I've already got my fuel filter housing. Um, I installed a new fuel filter while I was at it. I have new fuel O-rings right there. There's four of them. So I got them all on. So now we just need to sneak this thing in. First get that line on, then sneak this thing in down there and get all those lines attached. And they'll attach it to the engine. All right, guys, it's the next day. I have just been busting my butt trying to get stuff done. I need this truck. Um, I got this fuel assembly all back on, which I told you about the new O-rings. They're all on. Everything's back together completely. Um, I was not going to bring you to put things back when you seen how I took it apart. Um, I just topped off the oil. I've got 12 quarts of oil, and it should take, I believe, 13, but I've dumped 12 quarts in it. This thing, I've had the batteries on charge. They were up. All right. All right, let's see if this thing starts now.
going on right now because I changed that fuel filter. It's burping air out of the lines and stuff. They'll run rough and they'll start clearing up. Let's see what it's doing now. All right, I just drove it about 20 miles and uh, runs perfect. Um, no oil leaks in the backside. So what I'm doing now is just letting this thing set for another half an hour. We'll check the oil on it, make sure the oil's uh, good. And then uh, we're ready to drive it. I'll start driving tomorrow and put some miles on it. And uh, we'll go from here. We gotta run to the feed store. All right, guys, thanks for watching the channel, supporting me. And um, catch another one. I know this wasn't uh, gardening, whatever, but I put on here every little thing that a farmer, homesteader, or a person does on their property. Anyway, all right, you'll have a good day. Thanks, bye.